بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video uh, I'll be uh, focusing on the uh, differences between the ligand gated and the uh, voltage gated ion channels so uh, the focus of this particular video would be the ligand gated ion channels and the next video I'll be focusing on the uh, voltage gated ion channels uh, so the first thing you need to understand what are these ion channels so when you talk about these ion channels, these are actually the transmembrane protein molecules that spin across the cell membrane, allowing the passage of ions from one side of the membrane to the other side of the membrane, or you can say from the interior to the exterior of the cell, or from the exterior to the interior of the cells. Now, when they are involved in transferring the ions uh, from uh, one side of the membrane to the other side of the membrane, the most important thing is their conformation. So uh, when these proteins, they achieve a conformation, uh, so in one particular conformation, they are going to allow the movement of the ions from one side to the other side. Or you can say in one conformation, they are going to open and in the other conformation, they are going to get close. So when they are open, they are allowing the movement of the ions across the, across the membrane. When they are closed, they are not allowing the movement of the ions across the membrane. So the important thing about these is, the conformation. Now what decide the conformation? Uh, either the ligand that is going to decide the conformation of the particular uh, protein or the ion channels or the voltage. Therefore we say that there are usually two types of these ion channels. One is the ligand gated ion channels and the other one is the uh, uh, you can say voltage gated ion channels. Now uh, this is the uh, structure of uh, you can say an ion channel and as you can see uh, as I've told you these are the transmembrane protein so the first thing you need to understand is what this term transmembrane protein means. When you talk about these transmembrane proteins they actually have three domains. The first domain which is present outside the cell as you can see over here that is outside the cell membrane that is known as the extracellular domain and this extracellular domain in case of the ligand gated ion channels is responsible for the binding of the ligand. The second one is known as the transmembrane domain and the uh, uh, part of the protein that is present inside this cell membrane like from here to here this is known as the transmembrane domain and then you have got an intracellular domain which is present inside the cell. So these are this is what the term transmembrane mean that it is going to spin the membrane from the exterior to the uh, interior of the cell. The second thing I've told you is about the conformation. So as you can see over here, when the channel is closed, you can see over here the, uh, uh, the this tunnel-like structure, it is closed, so the movement of the ions, that is stopped. But when a ligand binds to this particular ion channel, if this is a ligand-gated ion channel, as you can see, the channel is going to get open and the ions they can move inside the cell or they can move uh, outside the cell whatever the case is but this is what the uh, term transmembrane means and this is what the uh, structural conformation in these ion channel means so when they are in this particular conformation they are closed after the binding of the ligand it is going to get open and the uh, ions they are going to get inside the cell so the focus of this particular video would be the ligand gated ion channels. So these ligand gated ion channels, uh, for short they are known as the LICs, sometimes also known as the LGICs, like these are the ligand gated ion channels or this ligand gated ion channels. They are also known as the ionotropic receptors. So these ligand gated or the ionotropic receptors, they are actually a group of the transmembrane ion channel proteins. Uh, which opens to allow the ions, the movement of the ions, such as the sodium ions, the potassium ions, the calcium ions, the chloride ions, to pass through the membrane in response to the binding of a chemical messenger. So the most important thing to keep in mind about these ligand-gated ion channels, that we are talking about the ion channels, but their opening is dependent on the binding of a ligand to it, and when a ligand bind to it, these ions, they are these ion channels are going to get open, and they are going to allow the movement of the uh, ions across the cell membrane. So therefore, they are known as the ion channels, but they are the ligand gated. For example, if I give you an example of a ligand, so a good example of a ligand that would be a, a neurotransmitter. So when a neurotransmitter binds to an ion channels, 
when that opens that is going to allow the movement of the ions and that is going to change the uh, uh, you can say the electrical potential of that particular part of the uh, uh, that, that particular part of the neuron so uh, in the next video i'll be giving you examples about the uh, ligand gated ion channels two of the most important examples i'll give you that so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends